Hello and uh, welcome back. Today, classic time. I have something nice, and then it is uh, reasonably old. Uh, I have been playing before with this decade resistor from China. It was not necessarily very good because the switches are not that good, and it was very greasy uh, inside. And uh, I already changed the terminals because I couldn't put a banana in. Then later I found another also from China. These were actually quite good. Uh, but uh, the, the decade adjusting you do with these jumpers. And these were actually quite uh, precise and it had already the correct uh, banana plugs or terminals. But I found a proper one. Look at this. This is beautiful. It is from, uh, from General Radio Company from Cambridge, Massachusetts. And uh, it has uh, one, one the units, the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands. And it is uh, the, the 602J, yeah, 602J. And it has four units, and the units are 510, if I'm correct. Because you could uh, also buy these uh, separate. But this is just a, a 1, 10, 100, and 1,000. And it goes from uh, 0 to 10, each one. Um, the, the, if you have the 10, it is 0.25%, uh, so it's quite accurate. And starting already from the 10s, it is 0.1 or below. So it's really, really accurate. So I'm going to see if it still is. And I'm trying to find out from what year it is, because I have some old uh, magazine and catalogs that I found. And one catalog was from 1932. One from 35. But also one from 45. And the magazine from 45. This uh, 510 unit look look uh, most like what I saw in the picture on the 45. Uh, but maybe if we open it, we can have a better look. I also found a website of someone who uh, is used to restore these things. And uh, I will zoom in later. You can see this is a very special paint. And if you clean these with an IPA, you will definitely uh, take the 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 shine out of it. So he said you can use, uh, yeah, or just, not alcohols, no, no dissolvents. Uh, and I think he used even the WD-40, uh, but I can maybe use my baby gloves. But uh, first, just have a closer look. So here it is. Now I will try to put change a little bit of lighting. Yes, I think now you can see it is not completely flat here, you can see it is kind of uh, a skin, but uh, this is not because of the years, this is really because it was designed like this. As you can see it is a, it's a bit dusty, but remember what I say, no IPA, no dissolvents, you need to clean it with a soft uh, material, so, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm going to open it, but first I want to show you a little bit more, because Look at this, and this really says units, it says tens, hundreds, oops, thousands. And you can see the higher the resistance, the lower the amps you can put through it. Because it is, uh, if I understand, it's winded resistors, and that is also how they have calibrated by just cutting a little bit of the wire until it came in between 0.1% uh, or even better. So uh, let's open and I show you. Yeah, and I have seen pictures before. And uh, this is also kind of uh, yeah rare that, that all the connectors are still here. Look at this. You can put also wires. It has some sort of net. But everything is still here, so it's all original still. So I like that. So uh, let's have a look. 
carefully open it. The screws are a bit rusty, but the screwdriver still has a good uh, fit. And I hope really we can find some sticker inside because I really wonder uh, what year it is. I like it anyway because it looks very nice. All the also all the buttons are still there. And uh, I have seen absolutely I've seen words worse on pictures. So this one is well, it is in one piece. Nothing is missing. Well, if uh, WD-40 works, then probably my lightly moisture baby clothes will also work. So I think I will try that because I have uh, never had a problem with it before. But I will first try in a little corner somewhere that is not visible. Wow. Wow. Okay, if you <laughs> if you remember the Chinese uh, decade resistor, these switches look so different. But but also look in the box. It is uh, a copper plate inside, also to to keep the distortion out, I think. And that is also connected to the screws, so it will connect to the to the plate. So it is all really shielded that is very nicely done and also if you look at the, the switch sliders uh, let me adjust the camera because maybe you can see look how many sliders there are i think it is three or four so instead of just doing one slider they have three or four okay let me see if i can zoom a bit Yes, if you look here, I think it is three. So they really want to make sure the contact is really good and there is really some spring tension on it. Wow, that looks really, really nice. This is almost a piece of art. Wow. And, and look how the resistors are built. It's wire wound. And just by adjusting the length, they uh, they calibrate them and here there is a little wire because they also test it on higher frequencies and i think this is a capacitor that just they used it to adjust it because it's just a piece of wire with a bit of isolation so i would almost think that this uh, to compensate for higher frequencies i've seen that before in uh, in the rf sampler design here also you see they just or the wire is replaced i think i think this wire is replaced here you find the same you see isolation on the wire but it is just there it's not doing anything it seems oh this winding seems maybe burn so i hope the resistance is still good this one became very hot yeah Well, let's put it on the Kelvin clips and let's see. Okay, I am uh, using my uh, Kelvins. As you can see, it's exactly zero if I put them together. Now I just put them on the decade. Maybe don't break the clips. Right, maybe I can do this. Okay, so instead of being 0 ohm, it is 0 0.2. Yeah, that is uh, 
1.2, 1 2.2, 2.2, 3.2. Yeah, we are in the arms here. Look at that 7.2, 8.2. In that sense, it is uh, always this point two. We go to the 10. Wow. 40, <laughs> 50, 60, seems to work fine. Ah, here we have a little bit extra, but it is, uh, yeah, less than one on a hundred. I will try to clean a little bit the uh, surfaces. <laughs> One guy, two, three. Yeah, it still works. Ah, here. Yeah. You see, now it's already dropping. So that is just uh, cleaning. Well, let's uh, try that. Yes, I really think this is a piece of art. And, and, and also with this, yeah, there are no stickers inside, so that's a pity. So it is still a bit difficult to find out, but it is somewhere starting from 32 until 45. And if you look more careful, I see now it's really four because I see four little stripes. So they have really four contacts instead of relying on one, they all push. That is really nice. Uh, I have here when Scott's Bright was still this massive uh, block instead of those uh, fake. Uh, but this one is really good at. Pushing a little bit. Yeah, you can see it coming back. So I will just be doing that. Okay, I will not do too much uh, in the wood, certainly not. I just want to get the dirt out. I'm using again the baby cloths, which have a fractional, fractional of a lotion, so that will bring the color back a little bit. But I don't want to repaint it. I just want to get the dirt uh, out. And uh, yes, it is old, so in the wood you can see now that it left like here. I don't know, he put his uh, glasses on it, I don't know why, but yeah, the, it left, it had the life before it came here, and uh, I think that is the beauty also. I will not change anything about this. Okay, 
we done that. I clean it a little bit with the brush to get all the powder out. And uh, I use this little file to clean the bottom side of the contact. So let's see. Also, I clean a little bit this one because of course this is also a contact point. So let's do again. First check. Oh, that is really zero. That works absolutely fabulous with these coffins. I just bought them later because they didn't came with my uh, kidney. Look at this. <laughs> Perfect. One ohm. Yeah. Two. Yeah, now we're talking, and this should be the one ohm, so this can be a quarter of a percent now. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. Ten. 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, yeah, this one is a bit off, but maybe one of the connections was uh, burned. So this is... Uh, 100, so this is not 0.1, but 0.6 of a percent. Wow, look at this. <laughs> uh, now we're talking. So point eight of a percent three and then it becomes yeah. now I oh this one is off. Well one was burned. Yeah, it's also off. It's a pity in those two, but below the 6,000, very nice, okay. Wow, look at this, it's all shiny. It does look a lot better. In the end, I did use the WD-40, but very, very, very little only. And uh, it did work. I will also put uh, a link in my description from his website because he seems to be the specialist of uh, restoring these things and his uh, advice really worked so uh, yeah thank you for that look at that resistance is now super super low also after i cleaned a bit more the contacts and now uh, and uh, let me switch this off and also the wood i managed to get the circles a little bit out, you still see slightly, but it is a lot less. So the wood really also does look a lot better. I think uh, this restore was a success. So that's it. That was super, super satisfying. It's just uh, two hours of work. I managed to make it uh, look a lot better. Also the, the zero resistance and even all the steps were a lot more accurate after the after the clean, which was actually quite simple. But look, after this uh, WD-40 trick, it is almost new. And the wood, remember, the circles that were there, they are still there, but a lot, lot, lot less visible. And I didn't paint it, it is just cleaning and a little bit of the... Uh, WD-40 actually, and it's not sticky because you just wipe it off with a clean cloth later. And uh, yeah, perfect trick. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.